What's up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video I'm showing you how to melt objects in your photos using Photoshop. Let's get started. So just like pretty much any technique out there, whether it be in Photoshop or After Effects or any software really, there's always a few ways to go about creating a certain effect or look. And while it can be helpful to learn all the different steps that go into creating a certain effect, it can take a lot of time and that's why I'm going to be showing you a preset that I'm using to make this look happen. So this is actually a preset from Graphic River, which is an Envato marketplace. And they have tons of awesome graphics, keynote templates, all those kind of things. There will actually be a link down in the description where you can see all of my favorite different designs and other templates. So definitely be sure to check that out. And so this is actually a Photoshop action that's usually seven bucks, but it's actually going to be free for the next couple of weeks. So you definitely want to go ahead and download this while you can. And as you can see in this picture, this is the look we're going to be creating. So basically you'll highlight your object and then it'll melt off that object with this really cool look. So it's actually really easy to do, so let's jump right into it. So once you download the file and unzipped it, you'll get these few files. It'll give you all the licensing information, which is always good to have, but then you need to install two files. We're gonna install the action, and then we're also gonna install the brushes that we're gonna use to highlight our object. Now you can actually go into Photoshop and install these manually. The way I've done it is literally just double clicking on each of these. It won't give you any sort of confirmation, it just automatically is installed. Then we're gonna create a new document and it's up to you how big you make this. Just make sure whatever photo you're using will be big enough and high enough resolution for this project. Now I've taken a photo of Unsplash because most of my own photos are more nature and macro photography, so it doesn't really look as cool, but you definitely wanna get something with a lot of action in it. You can download all of these photos for free and they're royalty free, which means you don't have to license them or anything like that. I'll put a link in the description to check this out as well. So this is the photo I'm going to be using and I'm just going to scale this up so it fits the canvas. I'll reposition it a little bit. And the first thing we're going to do is delete the background layer which will select your photo. And then we're going to go up to layer, new, and then select background from layer. That's just basically going to make our photo the background layer. Then we're going to create another layer and call this Pro Factions, all lowercase and that's P-R-O-F-A-C-T-I-O-N-S and just hit enter. And this is the layer that you're going to use to highlight your object. So maybe your subject's like in front of a city or whatever. If you want the city to be melting, you'll highlight that. But if you want the person in front of the city to be melting, then you'd highlight them. So there's not much happening in the background with the cloud. So I'm just going to highlight this guy here. And what you're going to do is go up to your brushes and just select one of these general brushes. Make sure the hardness is set to 100. And I'm just going to scale this back so it's a little bit easier to control. Something like 100 pixels. And then I'm gonna make the color of this brush a bright red. This is just gonna make it easy to see what we're highlighting. And then you're gonna highlight your entire subject. So don't worry about what you want to be melting just yet. Just go ahead and highlight your entire subject. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in. So it doesn't have to be too precise. You wanna make sure that you get everything inside of the brush. So even if there's hair flying or any kind of detail like that, Definitely be sure to fill that in. And once you've done that, we're gonna create one last layer and we're gonna call this color, all lowercase, no capital C or anything like that, just color. Then go up to your brushes and scroll down until you see those liquidum brushes. I'm not sure entirely how to pronounce that, but these are the brushes that we've installed. And there's a couple of different options here that will create a different look. So it's up to you which one to pick. I'm just gonna pick a random one like this. And then you wanna make sure you change the color so it's not exactly the same. So I'm just gonna choose something like a blue. And then what you wanna do is fill in the opposite of what you want to be melting. So I kinda want his legs and the skateboard to be melting, which means I'm gonna highlight the other half of his body. So it's a little counterintuitive, but it's just something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna start filling this in and you wanna be a little bit more precise this time around because anything that you miss may not come out looking just right when you finish. So definitely make sure to take your time and fill this in correctly. So that's all we have to do, and now we can run the action. Now that window looks like this little play button in the sidebar, but if it's not showing up there for you, go up to window and make sure that actions is checked. And then you'll see that we have those liquidum actions there. There's two different actions depending on the version you're running. I'm running the latest CC, so I'm gonna select that bottom one, and then you can just hit play. Now you can pretty much just let this do its thing. The only thing you have to do is just fill in this displace 
object. So what it does is it saves kind of a smart object and then it references that file. And so it'll ask you a few times to just connect that file. So you just hit continue, hit okay, select displace, hit open. And you have to do this a couple times and you'll see why when we finish the action. And there you go, our object is melted. So as you can see, everything that I filled in with that blue highlight is still in color and looking normal, but then everything around it kind of has this melted look. Now what's really cool about the action is it separates everything out into different folders. That's why we had to connect the object so many times. So I can actually disable that background elements and I can get most of that look back if I want it to be a little bit more subtle. I can also turn off the transparent element. So if I just wanted him to be melted entirely, I could do that. I could disable the paint stains, which everything on his side and kind of rolling over into the transparent objects could be disabled. I can also take off that paint splatter around him and also disable the object details, which would be everything that we highlighted. Now, unfortunately, you cannot really reverse this. So in case you accidentally brush something that shouldn't have been in the object, then it comes through and it looks kind of weird. You'll have to go through and do this again. But fortunately, it's just using an action and you're not having to manually set up those steps. And so guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. It really helps me out and lets me know you're enjoying the content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.